here we are again and uh, I have something interesting to do tonight there we go this is a Polish not Polish but made in Poland tape recorder reel to reel from the late I think uh, 70s maybe early 80s something like this after my this was made in Poland under a Grundig license I'm not sure what I'm trying to do today is to see if this machine can get back to work lots and lots and lots of problems here but you know something let's put it on we are on diode mode now if we have any short I don't want to blow my fuses so oh my god this is in really bad shape I recall I have to turn the speed on nothing here nothing here nada okay yeah I got something there 1.3 kilo ohms hmm. let's put it in the mains and power on something is trying to move how can we take this out I think I have to dismantle this screws all right so let's talk about this guy it was uh, late 70s early 80s made under Grundig license in Poland this is an M2405S stereo I recall for those times it was a piece of machinery I mean the sound was great it was looking good powerful with a loudspeaker output everything you want everything you want for those times it was a marvel made by Unitra in Poland Unitra ZRK do we got any idea 486 oh maybe we'll see inside there about the time when it was built oh my god it's it's so heavy it's really heavy uh, this belong to a friend of mine which passed away his relatives knew my passion and my love for this kind of gears and and I can tell you that with this machine in fact this particular machine we did some recordings in the 80s with the band I was playing in those times we've been a really good band you know I'm famous in the in the area playing gigs and wedding parties and stuff like that somehow you know recalls memories and should be nice to have this back to work this should go out yeah the screws are out here but of course I have to take out these guys oh my god it's stuck it's really stuck oh okay this one it wasn't this one was easy and of course we have potentiometers these are for recording input level um, there's the tone control scratches hmm okay there we go the good point is that I have a similar one mechanically at least and I can use that for spare parts what we got here all these things are looking pretty okay of course it's a lot of dirt you see these are the brakes yes it's dirty the heads are misaligned this one is moving here I have the motor which runs freely this is running too Come on! Oh! Wow. Why? That's a good time. We have power on both 9 and uh, 19 uh, centimeters per second. I think it's centimeters. It's moving very easy there. 
maybe I should take this. You know, it's really, it's really running freely here. I don't understand why. I can see the movement on the vometers too. So that's a good sign. Ah, let's take it the other side. How can I do that? <laughs> Look at this guy! Look what's inside there, my god! Okay, he's out of the mains, so I can freely moving around. What's wrong with this guy? Well, it doesn't... It's not stuck. It's working very easily. Capacitors, all of these things. These are the power amplifiers. T the power amplifiers for the loudspeakers. I recall they've been they've been strong enough. That's the recording I'm playing uh, board. Here we have the power supply switch, which is working now on both speeds. So far, the single pro it's not burned, not at all. What can be wrong? To open the motor, I have to take that screw. One, two, three, four. I got four screws. Let's open the motor. Okay. Power off. Stronger screw drivers. Mr. Easy. No, this one was dismantled before. No, for sure. I think I have to take the other side out. The belt. We have some screws here. This should go out. Really? All right. Now the motor should go out by itself. Why not? Ah, there you go. So what's wrong with you? I don't know, but I want to find out. So we'll open this. Well, don't tell me the axle. It's so... That's a huge difference between... That sucks. Not good at all. Can I take out the axle? Yeah, I think so. You see, here... Here I have a really bad groove, so... I think that's the problem. You know, it's effectively getting into playing a lot. So it should be very nice if I can take out the axle and move it all the way around because this is much better. And also something wrong here, see? This is out of the, of the position. You see people, I managed to move the axle. So now that bad grooving or groove, it's somewhere behind. Let's see if I can take this out now. But the problem is that we have a, a little channel here, which doesn't bother me. But anyway, it's better than it was before. So I can safely put it back. And here we have a little bit of textile. We'll keep the oil inside but you know it's something a huge tolerance 2.3 watts or 23 watts i think it's 23. yeah it's a big motor you know something we can give a try just like that we can do that as long as we keep our hands out of the wires no nothing it's not moving why Oh, it's moving so it needs to be centered I thought the 
the screws will do that automatically but no okay so now now it's moving freely okay let's try but you know something i put it on from the switch and straight from the mains is it burning is it flying is this a bird okay and it's working do you believe that kind of noisy and it's not so powerful now something wrong here anyway oh there is a relay there yeah yeah he's working somehow but I don't really like it anyway that's the situation for today I can live with that I see it's really playing this one should be here touching that rubber wheel so we have to go down let's see if it's moving freely and then we can have the belt oh no way but this one should go this one should go higher this is really no mechanically no that's the capstan this is the capstan it's it's so kaput okay somehow the motor is running somehow but you see it's wobbling and going in and out so i'm sorry nothing to do the capstan it's dead the motor it's dead sorry that's it i see what's happening with the next one maybe from two i can make a good one i have to take all these parts away no not at all sorry for today <laughs> no chance to fix this guys no chance absolutely no chance i'm disappointed <laughs> okay but anyway, don't forget, push like, subscribe to my channel and try to have some fun. I don't. <laughs> Bye.